I never thought I'd have one of these to call my own, honestly. But I bought one because honestly, I don't think there ever would be or there ever would have been a better time to get an oppressor mark to. Shut up, I'm in the middle of my intro. Like <laughs> it was on sale. The terabyte was on sale, along with the upgrades you could get uh, for the terabyte, like the little inside things, modifications, whatever it's called. And on top of that, every weekend you sign into GTA this month, you get 250k, uh, up to four million dollars. So there really would have never been a better time to get one. And I don't think this thing will ever be obsolete. So, I got one. I kid you not, I spent about a half hour trying to figure out what color I wanted to make this. This is, I believe, black with a blue secondary and a purple pearlescent. Maybe? I don't know. Not sure how I feel about this yet. I wanted to make it cool. Originally, I was thinking red, but I didn't want to stick out like a beacon in the sky. Anyway, uh, I want to take this thing for a test spin. This handle is really weird. Honestly, it does. Uh, I want to take it uh, over here for a test spin, though. Uh, just, just to see, just to see how it feels, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna be like the scum of the earth after today, but. Oh jeez, I tried to chaff! How am I alive? How am I alive? I thought... I'm okay? Why did my phone come up? I hit right! Right! Okay, that's, that's nice. I don't know why my phone keeps coming up, I freaking... I am hitting right, and my phone's coming up for some reason. That's the problem with using a wired controller. Okay, now, the other thing, I didn't get an MC. So I'm still working with freaking... I'm still working with my mechanic here. That worked. Should be good, should be good. Uh, does this thing not have a boost? How do I activate the boost? Oh, that's, it's A. I thought it was the stick, just like with the... Okay, so that time it worked. I don't know why I was hitting, I was hitting right on the D-pad before, I swear I was. Why is it not working? God damn it! I'm literally spamming right. <laughs> I think it's this controller, man. I need to get a freaking a different controller. I recently switched to a wired controller, and you know, it's just not working. Good job, man. That's a nice suppressor. I missed. That's awkward. Alright, let's get the heck out of here! I'm hitting right, nothing's freaking happening! There we go. Please tell me I'm not in range. I'm at! I don't get it. Why sometimes chaff works, sometimes it doesn't. I should have just turned around when it was still active. Not even freaking close, man. Hello? Hello? 
Uh. All right, that's that. That's okay. No, no explanation for that. No. Oh, I got a lock for a half second, but I got the chaff off in time. <laughs> I, I guess I have to hit, like, right on the D-pad exactly, and if I don't, then I'm freaking just dead. Okay. Boop. Boop. Alright, we gotta boop. We gotta boop. Boop missile. I think I see him. What? <laughs> Literally could not have made the shot any easier, and I still freaking whiffed it. Oh, jeez. Also, if you get this as your favorite motorcycle, that looks good. Yep. Awesome! Okay, got it. Also, if you get this thing as your favorite motorcycle, you can regen to 100%, because that's not freaking broken at all. Okay, well that's nice. Oh, he has smoke on his. Well, this guy's a level 156, and he, he chose to put smoke on his oppressor mark, too. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I don't like that, that's not good, that, that's better, better, perfect, perfect, oh shoot, <laughs> I did not realize he got on one, uh, oh he's got a tank now, <laughs> alright we'll leave him alone. You wanna try that again? You wanna run that by me again? This is even interesting. Does anyone care of, about me making a video on the Mark II? I feel like it's established this thing's OP. Nobody cares. Any anybody could use it. I mean, I gotta kill on the guy before, so I mean that should pretty much establish it. Jesus Christ! That gun has a lot more range than I remember. All right, you're done. You're dead. That should do it. That should not do it. One shot. That should do it. How are you not dead? I thought this thing did damage. He killed himself. Is this at all? I feel like this is just me bullying this guy. I mean, granted, he, he's the one at this point chasing me. I don't know if this is all <laughs> at all interesting. This will probably be a short video, and I'll pair it with uh, a brief little fight I had after I made my last video. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So, I didn't have my mic turned on when I was recording this part, so I'm just going to speak over it. So, uh, this took place after I finished my last death deathmatch. Uh, I wanted to check out the new tint I unlocked for my advanced rifle, uh, so I was looking around in the ammunition, and I noticed this insurgent pulled up outside and was just sitting there waiting for me, uh, so I pretty much braced myself. Uh, eventually one of them comes in shooting up the store, uh, I kill him, and walk outside and get instantly shredded by the guy on the gun turret of the insurgent. Uh, so, when I respawn, I call in my Deluxo because I know it does have enough missiles to take out an insurgent. Uh, I knew it would be a long process, but uh, <laughs> I thought, why not? Uh, so, I shoot at them for a little bit. I eventually chase them uh, underneath the bridge. It's kind of tough for me. I don't really want to fly low and potentially get shot out of the driver's seat, so I'm trying to keep it a distance and get a lock from afar but there's a lot of obstacles under the bridge, so it's kind of difficult. Uh, after that, they take cover in uh, a tunnel, and they're just sitting there waiting for me. Of course, I know I can't follow them in, because that's just an unnecessary risk, and I lose that half the time, more than half the time. So we're at a stalemate for a bit. After a while, I realize they're not going to leave the tunnel, so I figure my best bet is to get out of my Deluxo and try to challenge them on the ground. So that's what I do. Uh, I get behind cover. They ended up destroying my Deluxo, but I 
don't care, I don't need it to win. And they drive over to me and I end up shooting out the gunner and the driver. MMI, we expect the unexpected. I think we can do that. After that, we get into a bit of a sniper battle. When I was sniping, uh, I did get a bit of tunnel vision here. Uh, I was so focused on the one guy I was sniping at, and I didn't realize his friend had uh, come up beside me. Fortunately, he did fire a bit. He didn't hit me, but he did give himself away, and I was able to kill him. But I get picked off by the other guy right after. So we take turns sniping at each other for a bit, and this damn railing blocks all of my shots, which was really annoying. Here, watch. Yeah, should have had that kill. Anyway, after that happens, they I die, they come over to where I respawn, try to get me one more time. Admittedly, I wasn't playing very smart here, like... I was standing out in the open when I wasn't even sure where he was, like I didn't know if he was above me or level with me. Uh, it didn't really end up hurting me though, I did end up getting the kills I needed. So that's going to be all for today's video, uh, I do hope you enjoyed. I will say. The Impressive Mark 2 gameplay felt kind of bland to me, it just seems like a very boring way of fighting. Like, once you've seen one Oppressor of Mark 2 fight versus another, like, you've seen them all, like, there's not much to it. It's not very interesting, I don't think. So, you probably won't see much of it on this channel from here on out, uh, in case you're concerned about that. But that's all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.